Jackson, cut ahead, that ball took a deflection, and that ball was right into the goal. And oh well, just a touch there from anybody would have done the trick. Dolphins that close from taking the lead. And the uh, Bukoku seemed to be caught unprepared in Israel that time. Otherwise, it would have been uh, a goal for Dolphins to start with. Another huge sigh of relief, especially coming from Michael Uweru, because he made a total mess of that uh, attempted catch. I thought he should be punching that. He went to catch it and just look at that. Hair's breath away from his goal. That slip cross, that was beautiful. That was excellent timing from Emmett Edwards. And he timed it just right. That run, the flag stayed down as it should. And Dolphins deservedly into the lead here. 24 minutes into the game. A dance of victory there. And Uweru, maybe a, a little bit unfortunate that it wasn't his error that led directly to this goal. But really, Dolphins have been banging on the door for a long, long time. It all came from this throwing. Not much danger here. But you can see that is the pass of the match. And what a finish. Just below the goalkeeper. Don't hit it hard. Certain goal and he made sure it ended in the back of the net. So one nil it is. But that's for that pass, that was wonderful from Chidebiro Okolia. Well, M.M. Dork opening his goal account in this match. It is Dolphins that lead by a goal to nil against Crown here. 24 minutes, M.M. Edward finishing off a job he started himself, and that was magnificently done. Crown perhaps uh, will be forced to come out of their shells now and attack to try and redeem their image in this game. They really have done more defending than attacking. And uh, you don't, uh, you hardly score goals if you don't attack. That they ought to have known already by now that that was a misplaced pass meant for M.M. Edward again. Edward has been the live wire in this attack since this game kicked off for Dolphins at least. And he's rolled from left to right and right to center uh, from where he got that goal. And despite all we've said about uh, Crown of Okomosha and their placing on the table, it has also to be said that they are a team that, uh, in terms of personnel, they, don't, they are not actually oozing quality, uh, you know, the, the way Dolphins are. I mean, when you look at Dolphins, the coach has stayed there for the best part of uh, six to seven years. The goalkeeper and captain, Sunday Rotimi, almost same. And when you look at them, Ed Rock, these are players who've done four seasons. So there, there, there is that continuity. They've won titles together and uh, they, they, they've also failed together. But really, this is a team that has gelled. And uh, that reverse pass didn't come off. Otherwise, it would have been exquisite for Mifanye win. Uh, yes, talk about uh, the personnel to prosecute games. And uh, you look at Dolphins, you see names like Sunday Rotimi, Shizobaya Fuller is there. Emeka Atuloma, Emmanuel Olowo, Victor Ezurike, Ellen Edward, Ifanye Wim, well, you really couldn't go better than that. They've got them uh, loaded there in terms of uh, quality. You couldn't exactly say the same for Crown. But uh, then we did see uh, some seasons past a team like uh, APS of Loring come with unknown players, most of them young stars, and they did display some enchanting football in the course of time. So we expect that uh, Crown may not have done immensely well this season, that there's something to look forward to. The potential is there. Well, in the end, it's a goal kick. <laughs> Uh, it was quite uh, hilarious there, the way they were tumbling over. And finally, Zikie found himself on the ground. And uh, inadvertently, his heel actually put the ball into touch for that goal kick. Crown of Obama Show, they were promoted to the top flight at the end of last season. But you can see the goal scorer, M.M. Edwok, is down. Is that the treatment he needed? A helping hand from the official, it would seem so. That this is a young man, a, a lot rests on his shoulders and uh, he carries it with such ease that you wonder. 
a real legend in this part. He's loved, comes from a neighboring Aquaibom state, but he's really found fame and fortune uh, here in uh, Port Harcourt with Dolphins. I was talking about Crown being promoted at the end of uh, last uh, season. Last time Crown was promoted, they spent just a season in the top flight uh, before they were relegated. Well, the Simon course will repeat, but after this week 23, they will have 15 matches within which to save their status as a top flight team. Another foul again. This time you can say he is lucky, but I think that's not good coming from Tijani Adamu. It was a double-footed challenge with the studs showing and Adamu, as he landed, scraped uh, his own boots down the body of uh, the Crown FC defender Ali Aliyu. Certainly not to be encouraged. Well, the referee overlooked that and uh, did award a free kick to Dolphins, which uh, came to nothing in the end. But Crown... First, they have to come out now and uh, play football. Except that Dolphins are not making it very easy for them. Coming forward now. If that ball had gotten through, I'm sure it would have been ruled out for offside. Uh, but uh, it's still the men in yellow coming forward now, Crown. They want to reply in kind. And the going down, the referee is not going to give them anything there. As the big men in the back line for Dolphins take charge once again. A win. And uh, it's Jenny Adamu there with a the pass. Another handball. Again, it's M.M. Edward. He's done that in uh, twice in two minutes now. Uh, this time, the referee brought him up short. It took his eyes off the ball for a moment and um, gave away the free kick. But at this point in the season, no one is betting against Dolphins. Winning either the Federation Cup or the league, or even doing the double because uh, they've done that before. Uh, both. It's quite possible. And uh, a good result today would put them on top of the log and they're uh, coming through well. That looks like uh, possibilities for Crown. But they've not been able to do much with that. The scoreline still remains the same. And then Edward, he'll get to that ball and he ends a corner kick. Well done, sir. <laughs> he doesn't exactly sprint like uh, we said, Bolt. Uh, he lacks pace. But what he lacks for him pace, I think he makes up for in uh, trickery. Uh, he does, certainly does. And uh, that, that, that brought a huge cheer from the Spurs uh, fans here at the Liberation Stadium. They're lining up for a second before the halftime interval. We've still got 15 minutes of that left to go. Another short corner kick taken to Jenny Adamu. And it's Okirie. Was attempting to go for goal there, but it's a throw in. He gets instead. Shidi Okoli, who was uh, a bit uh, faulty a couple of times at the beginning, seems to be finding his range now. Well, you can see what is still going to come your way later today. Sharks of Port Harcourt against Heartland FC of Oweri. And a massive fixture any season in the Nigeria Premier League. And this one certainly, certainly, certainly promises to be a huge one. Last year it was Sharks 3, Heartland 1. But Heartland this year, I don't think they're going to have to take that. Already their league position, not the best. But back here, it's still Dolphins 1, Crown nil. Globe Premier League Week 23. It's a free kick to the Crown. And Jai was illegally brought down there, says the referee. And the culprit, Ebube Opoku. Benson Omodoku with a free kick. Long one. And uh, nobody in yellow there to latch onto that ball. And that's why perhaps Crown need to be a little bit more forward-thinking and forward-looking in this game. They're goal down, 
but it could get worse yet for them if they are not careful and they don't uh, step up their act here. As uh, Dolphins go on the counter attack now, if I knew Green Perasi should have just rolled the ball on. Uh, he didn't do that and opted to go backwards. And backwards, uh, Mecca Tuloma floating the ball in. Zikie, he needs support. It's in the form of Tijani Adamu, and uh, the ball just uh, out flew. <laughs> out flew uh, Ebube Upoku there. Rather out flew his outstretched <laughs> legs because he does have long legs on him. Opoku, so many. I, I think physique is a key part of uh, successful teams. Just what the Dolphins play as huge, strappy men. And there he is again. He's a player you want to watch. Well, that was uh, slightly too ambitious. And uh, it doesn't going to go anywhere close to doing any damage at all. And that was uh, Jonathan Zikie. <laughs> he would love to get in amongst the goal scoring act. And the way Crown has been playing, well, there's nothing to discourage Dolphins from attacking at will. Benson Modoku initiating another attack for Crown. Uh, good footwork there from Yumi Olauke. Jacob Oji. And, uh, well, Crown, they seem to be playing slightly to the gallery. They can't afford to do that. They want to make every touch to the ball count if possible. And they are not doing that just yet. That should be offside. It is offside, and they're ready. Uh, the goalkeeper stopped the ball right on the line there. So that was uh, some good reaction from Michael Uweru. Uh, that's uh, actually Sunday Rotimi. Sunday Rotimi, sorry. Uh, and it may just have been an on goal because that header came from uh, uh, Oluwo. Uh, he just managed to make sure that they didn't cross the goal line. Player down. Looks like he's taking a rest. <laughs> Something to do with his ankle. Shehu Musa, the official from the northwest, waiting for the arrival of the medical team. Uh, with uh, 10 minutes to go to the halftime break, it's all been Dolphins here. Surprisingly, they've just scored the one goal. They probably should have had a penalty kick not given. Maybe they will consider themselves lucky that they didn't concede one as well. But away from that, they have rarely, rarely been the team in the ascendancy. Uh, Bubo Koku may have been on the score sheet. If I knew, we probably should have been on the score sheet as well. Eventually, it was the left-sided right winger. M.M. Edward, who broke the deadlock after a fabulous, fabulous reverse pass from Chidebere Okolia. So Femi Ajay is the player who is going off. Doesn't look like a man who might be coming back any moment now, but uh, this is what you will get tomorrow evening. Nigeria made, of course, uh, a magazine show on the Globe Premier League. It's good stuff to watch with Moses Praise. And the gang. Dolphins leisurely inching their way forward in the network. Edwok is really a good player. He knows how to hassle players. Uh, if you get the ball away from him, don't think it's over. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination, it's not. He knows how to charge right back. And uh, most of the time, he does it legally as well. Oh, oh man, of a, a, a great player. And that did look a bit overconfident, stroking the ball around the 18-yard box with an opponent locking. 
So that's a great pass to Zikia. Now coming forward, Dolphins, he floats the ball across. That should be the goalkeeper's ball. And uh, well, 50-50 between the goalkeeper and uh, Opoku. And the referee allows play to continue. The player is still down. Finally, the referee stops play uh, to have that attacker attended to. Uweru hasn't really exhibited the confidence we know he keeps with. Good cross driven in here by Jonathan Zikie. Well, at least that time Uweru went to punch. But uh, so was uh, Opoku coming in. You can see that cross took a deflection. And it was more or less a crash. And the tall Opoku, he hit the deck with some force. Up now and kicking again. Very close to double figures in terms of goal scoring last season. While in Medugri with El Academy Warriors, he's really found his range here in the south. Maybe not as many goals as he did get last season, but by the end of this campaign, he very well might have doubled that tally. Well, crown of a bomber shot, two away games on the trot. Over the weekend, they lost away uh, to Hatland of Awari by a goal to nil. And uh, this is, uh, you can see possession there. It's been largely Dolphins all the world the way. Crown have had the uh, very rare occasions uh, in which they made any forays forward. So it's uh, essentially been a Dolphins day. Dolphins who were also involved over the weekend, a controversial one world uh, draw away to Giwa FC in Jos. Uh, over which uh, the Dolphins' uh, technical crew don't seem to be too pleased. But the way it is, both sides coming together again, Dolphins and Crown. Crown on the back of a defeat at the weekend, and Dolphins on the back of on a way draw at the weekend. And Dolphins still looking for a way forward to Jania Damuna. Okoku decides to go backwards. Offside, uh, says uh, the assistant referee, uh, Defania Gwim was the man that was offside. Uh, Bowie, you, you were talking about a draw for uh, Dolphins in just last weekend. Uh, the last point gained by Crown was a 2-2 draw in week 19 against Bielsa United. They've lost everything they've played in this second half of the season. Losses to Bielsa United, Lobby Stars at home, Hatland, and today they don't look like uh, they're going to win this one unless something very, very remarkable happens in the remaining 50 minutes of this encounter, with five of them still left to go before the halftime break here at the Liberation Stadium. And well, Kelechi, uh, as football games go, there's still loads of time in which anything, uh, within which anything could change. And uh, who says Crown could not equalize and perhaps even go ahead in this game? Because Dolphins would appear to have taken their foot off the pedal after scoring that goal. Uh, but they want to try and cash in on that. And uh, Dolphins... Gradually, they didn't press their luck. They didn't press on with the advantage they had then. The momentum could have carried them further. They didn't do that. But Tijeni Adamu, well, Joshua fouled his opposite number there as uh, he had his uh, hand firmly on the shoulder of Francis Nedu. And speaking about opposites here, while Crown has been leaking points, Dolphins have been uh, really getting them. In fact, they believe they should have won in just as well. That would have been four straight victories. But that said, they've still won three of the last four with one draw. Meaning there must be something Stanley Guma is doing right. Uh, he's been a national team coach. And uh, some of these players, uh, these coaches who have handled national teams, would seem to indicate uh, week in, week out that there's something a little bit special about them. Uh, we're seeing the signs of that in Dolphins now, and that uh, free kick uh, has been taken very quickly. It was uh, 
one of the rather few fouls. It must be said that this uh, game has not particularly been uh, foul fraught. Uh, that big man coming forward again that time he just needed to get rid of that ball never mind if any man in blue was expecting there uh, expecting the ball to come there see, the, see that cranium <laughs> that's a head to head away all threatening balls into that uh, 18 yard box and if they do keep a clean sheet here today it will be number nine for dolphins and uh, that will put them 10 uh, I mean, uh, within that mark, that record mark set by Enyimba for about last season. 22 clean sheets. Zakir, a good pass to Tijani Adamu. Tijani Adamu, the chest took the ball too far. And uh, the foul committed there. Uh, Adamu might well be in trouble. He lashed out with his hand. Got to his opponent's face. And I'm sure he doesn't want to. He's uh, actually walked across. Uh, the referee calls for the ball, calls for Tijani Adamu to come forward. I thought he was going to let him up because Adamu actually went across to apologize to uh, <laughs> the defender, but uh, it wasn't enough for Shehu Musa, the center referee. I think uh, he's had it coming. It's not the first time. He also did scrape his boots earlier when he was fouled, and uh, that's uh, a well-earned yellow card. You can see it here. He's a kind of Petland player. You don't, you don't get to do that. Maybe he didn't connect uh, that heavily, but the intention was there. And Crown, they're looking menacing. When they get into that final third, they seem to lose uh, control about what to do. And again, that foul at a very bad spot for Dolphins. And the culprit that time, the Jesse number eight man, Emeka Tuloma. Well, if you are going to equalize and you're crowned for Bomo Shot, this is certainly an opportunity. I don't know if that's where it happened, but really they might not get a better chance to score than this in this uh, first half. So the rugby me backing out instructions to the wall of defense. Well, uh, it, it seems to indicate just what the day is all about for Crown. That is a wonderful opportunity, and it was uh, totally wasted. Completely wasted there. Uh, no harm at all done to Dolphins, who were sitting comfortably uh, by on, on the one goal they scored in the 24th minute. We have one minute added on time in the, at the end of this first half. A bit surprising, given the huge number of uh, stoppages due to fouls. Well, but the officials, they know best. Zikir does that well. Comes back to Tijani Ahmed. Tijani gives the ball away. Tackle from behind, another tackle, but Zikie tees the ball forward for M.M. Edwok. M.M. Edwok with the outside of the left foot, and that was well floated and well defended as well by Crown. Oh, what a beauty. How Crown were able to wriggle out of that uh, cul de sac as they come forward. They want to end on a high here in the first half. It's going to be a free kick to Crown, and the fans here disagree. It was right in front of Shehu Musa, and I think he got it right because Chidebero Kolia here, well, you could see the elbow into the midriff of uh, that crown player. But all the same, that's the end of the first half. It is the end of the first half, a uh, first half that's been uh, largely Dolphins. Uh, crown have uh, not really come to the party just yet, and that man is the man that scored the goal that's made the difference here, M.M. Edward. In the 24th minute, a glorious move which he initiated and finished with a plumb. It is a crown trailing here. Dolphins looking like Ghanaian and other three points. Sunday Rotimi not really tested in the first half. And the two sides have another 45 minutes during which to fight. It is Dolphins 1, Crown FC 0.
You've always been different. Kabak for style. Mara, you know who you are. So don't just exist. Come on, come on, and live it loud. Allah!